The 2014 ASABE International Quarter Scale Student Tractor Design Competition started shortly after the end of the 2013 competition. Schools had design changes that they were interested in making and, and on the way home from competition as early, we're starting to make those design changes. Uh, we had some small rules changes for the year and uh, schools were able to work around those and build their tractors throughout the year. Um, they were using the standard 31 horsepower engine or two 16 horsepower engines and the Titan tires that we give each school as they join the competition. Throughout the year we had various rules calls to clean up any questions that the teams may have and a conversation back and forth with changes that were happening throughout the year for a new competition scoring um, events and those sort of things. Um, as far as the competition goes, schools began to arrive here at the Expo Gardens on Thursday uh, where they completed X-Team and A-Team technical inspections. Um, we, as the committee, looked to make sure that the tractors were meeting the rules as were written and uh, would require the, the schools to make any changes if they were not making those rules. Friday morning we went into design judging for the A-Team tractors. Uh, within design judging, we had our panel of industry judges making sure that the, the schools were meeting their ideas behind manufacturability, serviceability, safety, testing and development, and ergonomics. Um, at the same time, we were having maneuverability where we could see how maneuverable these machines were in a uh, maneuverability course. Um, ongoing were technical inspections on Friday as well for anything that was left to clean up, as well as sound teching for the machines to make sure that the noise level of those machines was an, at an acceptable level. Friday during the day in the afternoon, we also had X-Team polls uh, for our undergraduate students so that they may come in and, and get a, a, a shorter um, version of the competition and get experience with the competition as they grow into upperclassmen. Saturday we had our uh, oral presentations where the schools, all the A-Teams and X-Teams gave their presentations to a panel of judges from industry to figure out why their machine is better than someone else's in the management should move ahead with it. Uh, Saturday night we had our, our lightweight class pulls, uh, our thousand pound weight class pulls. Machines were pulling uh, with both the lower and the raised chain height um, to, to give them a, a different pulling characteristic as they go down the track. And then Sunday morning we'll be moving into our heavyweight class pull, our 1500 pound weight class, and we'll be doing the same pulls. Um, all of this will culminate this evening with our banquet and award ceremony. And we'll see who uh, put everything together this year to, to uh, finish strong and, and uh, take home our traveling trophy. So with uh, technical inspections, we have a certain amount of rules that each team has to follow while they build their tractors during the year. So, and then we have different stations for each technical inspection, which include overall sound and safety. Um, and then at each station, the technical inspectors, uh, usually committee members, uh, will go over each part of the rules pertaining to that section. Um, so, for example, like overall, we check their uh, steering arrangements as well as their wheelie bars, um, seat dimensions, as well as overall uh, tractor um, length and width. Um, so we check off to make sure that they have followed each particular um, rule in the handbook. Um, if they have not, we ask them to um, go fix it and then come back and then show us again to make sure that they have the correct uh, configuration that follows the handbook. And then um, they can go on to the next station after that. Uh, we do have a few teams that make it through the whole thing first time around. Um, most teams do have to um, either t tweak or fix something little um, before they are able to go through again. And then once they do that, pass everything, then they're allowed to uh, go on to maneuverability and they are allowed to pull. Uh, maneuverability is a test uh, where we judge the agility or the nimbleness of a tractor's design. Uh, it's one of the more difficult sections of the competition uh, because a lot of the tractors aren't designed uh, to make some of the tight turns associated with the course. Uh, the course changes every year. Um, due to the fact that we want to keep it fresh and challenging. So the schools only know the course layout about a half hour before uh, they compete. The way it uh, works is the teams go through and they must knock the golf ball off of three pylons. Um, then there's a bunch of yellow pylons. If the teams uh, collide or hit one of the yellow pylons, it's three points. If they knock the golf ball off on the top of the pylon, it's one point. 
or they can have the pylon removed by the official in the area for a five point deduction. They have eight minutes to complete the course. After five minutes, they're docked uh, uh, points for every 15 additional seconds between five and eight minutes. For design judging, students bring in their tractors to have them reviewed by industry professionals in five different categories, manufacturability, serviceability, safety, ergonomics, and test and development. It's supposed to take the place of like a real, real life uh, design review.
Another key facet of the design competition is the team oral presentations. The team oral presentations simulate an actual real-life marketing presentation. The presentation is judged by senior marketing executives for our key sponsors and engineers for those companies as well. The teams are judged for their oral presentation on design concept, readiness for market, user safety, product cost, and team organization and planning.